So this video is about the production possibilities frontier model, and I've drawn two production possibility frontiers over cars and corn. Remember, the endpoints are going to give us the maximal amount of, in this case, cars we could get if we put all our resources towards cars and not get any corn, or down here, maximal amount of corn we could get if that's all we wanted to make and no cars. Then along the frontier, let's focus on this blue one for now, we get the maximal amount of both if we wanted to get some of both and put all our resources towards either cars or corn. We could produce anywhere along this frontier. Then suppose there's technological change, maybe better factories or assembly lines or something like that. It's going to maximally improve the amount of cars we could get, though we shouldn't have any reason to expect that that's going to improve how much corn we could get. So I've drawn the same intercept, or at least I've tried to, for corn, though I've pushed out the intercept for cars. And what I'm showing here in this picture is that from some point that would have lied on our original frontier, we could actually cash in this technological change to get more cars, obviously, we've got better factories, or we could get more corn without sacrificing any of the cars we would have attained at that point or anywhere in between, right? And another way to say this is relative to our new production possibilities frontier, our old point would lie in the feasible but inefficient area of the frontier model. So hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.